What's going on keepers? I'm Kane and this is Noodle. And today we're going to show you some footage that's uh, old to me but new to you. So I have been behind on videos but I've had this one saved in of some snake or a snake that I unboxed. So I just want to go ahead and throw this up here to get out some content and show you this powerhouse that we're going to be working with this coming year. So stick around and see what we've got in store. <laughs> So I do, I'm going to admit, I do have a lot of uh, animals that I haven't shared on video yet and we are going to do a tour, but not today. Um, today I've got a couple of ball pythons shipped in. Um, this one right here is going to be my newest, most powerful male. Now to some huge big time breeder it might not be that powerful, but to me I'm super excited about it. It's a, got a new gene in it that I don't currently have that I want to start working into everything. I've been kind of obsessed with it lately. Also, I'm going to go ahead and say you may see a box back here. We do have another snake. Unfortunately for you, it is a dinker project. And um, for those that don't know what a dinker is, it is a normal gene that you think may have something else in it. And, um, you know, I'm not secretive about anything as far as what combos I'm doing or whatever because I don't think that makes a difference. But I think I've got a new gene here. Kind of excited about it and uh, you will see it in the future but not today i'm gonna only keep that one as a little surprise so either way if it doesn't prove out you'll find out and if it does you'll definitely find out but for now let's check out this guy all right so i'm super excited about this i'm very big anticipating this this is from garrett demeyer a lot of you probably know his name he's a been around forever and he's a, a big name in the hobby from Royal Constrictor Design so I will go ahead and give you a spoiler I think I may have said it a minute ago but if not I'll say it now this is a male so this is something that I'm looking to get into all of our projects awesome you always gotta love getting the stickers so we'll definitely hang on to that one So, it was a little cold up in his part, got the heat pack here, still warm. Um, it wasn't too cold down here, but like I said, he, he's up there in the freezing cold weather. So anyway, um, this actually wasn't the original mail I planned on getting from him. I inquired about one and it had some issues and he was upfront with me about it. And uh, told me that you know he didn't know if it would be a good investment and then he offered me this animal at a discount which was more than what I was originally going to pay for the other one but was a very very good discount for this animal so you know I thought well whatever let's just go ahead and move forward with it so oh yeah this is a pretty guy right here so this here is a bongo pied male super super awesome as you can see he's already got a little bit of weight on him <clears throat> now of course with pieds sometimes it's hard to tell the difference but one thing that gives it away is this stripe steadily down the pattern and look how just look how clean the pattern is on that it looks really good so let's go ahead and get a weight on this guy. See how much he is. I am super, super excited about this. Here lately, I have been super excited and obsessed to a T with the bongo gene. I have literally spent countless nights looking through every bongo animal on Morph Market. Uh, and let's just say my save list is full. So. Right now, I currently have 
more pied and het pied animals than anything. So being towards the end of the season, it made the most sense for me to get a bongo pied. Next year, my plan is to go heavy into bongo clown, which is what I'm really, really excited for. I'm excited for bongo anything, but I definitely, definitely want to get in a bongo clown. So this guy is weighing in at 287 grams. So he is, you know, he's not quite breeding size yet, but I'm thinking that, uh, you know, he, um, he said that he was more or less uh, maintained feeding him. Like he was feeding him good. He wasn't starving him or anything, but he has such a big collection that he wasn't, you know, excessively feeding anything. So I should be able to put the, some weight on this guy pretty quick. Uh, I'm not going to try to pair him at 500 grams like a lot of people do. I believe it's worth the weight for the 700. So, you know, if he grows really quick and he hits that 700 mark, then we'll get him in that regimen as quick as we can. Because uh, I'm planning on switching my game up anywhere and breeding year round. I think it just makes better sense. But, um, yeah, I'm super excited about this guy. This guy is going to be my runner male. I hope, hopefully, uh, hopefully he does the deed when he gets to the size because I am planning on pushing him to everything. Anyway, all right guys, I'll see you on the next bit. Well, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. I know this was a short one, but I just wanted to put something out there and show this male that I'm super excited to have. And I can't wait to get into our projects next year. And I'm definitely looking forward to expanding the bongo gene more into my collection. But anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. And remember, your hobby can bring you joy, but only Jesus can bring you peace. I hope to see you in the next one.